evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. I'm here with a man that used to hold the same microphone in his hand here for us on TVG. The best reporter we have ever had, bar none, Jeff Lipson, now with West Point Thoroughbreds. You're here uh, representing Ring Weekend, who was the winner of the Tampa Bay, Tampa Derby. Bay Derby. I was going to say Calder Derby, but that's the race that he was supposed to win at 1-5 to five and didn't. You know, it was kind of curious. I was talking to Terry Finley uh, earlier in the week. Was it just a bounce, or what happened in that race? You know, if you're a sheet player, and I know that the, the TVG folks will put up third graph numbers for a lot of these big races, yeah, he was due to bounce. He was due to bounce big time. Um, I think there were a couple of factors involved in that race. I think that the track was a lot deeper than the one that he worked on a week prior. Um, I think that he, he probably did bounce. And as he got sick, what, about three or four or five weeks later, right before the Kentucky Derby, something might have been brewing. I mean, so any number of those factors probably played a part in that really disappointing finish for him. From from what you saw in the Kentucky Derby with the California Chrome, are, are you guys coming in here to just try to pick up a piece of it, or do you think he can actually knock off the, the heavy favorite here today? On his best day, I think he will be in the mix. I think he'll have a chance to, to be running right there with uh, the California Chromes and, and Kid Cruz, who I actually think is, is a, a very live long shot and social inclusion. Those would be my kind of super effective type of horses. He's got to hit his best day. If it's any, anywhere more like the one that he ran at, at uh, Calder, then I don't think he'll be at all in the picture. But if he runs closer to how he did in the Tampa Bay Derby, I think that he can be in the mix. And uh, regardless of what happens today, you're going to have a chance to get to California Chrome in the Belmont with a different horse, and that is uh, Commanding Curve, who finished second in the Kentucky Derby. Do you really like his chances going a mile and a half? Wasn't it ter Terrell Owens that said, he was one of those receivers that said, get your popcorn out, basically? <laughs> Uh, if you're going to go to the Belmont Stakes this year, get your Kleenex out because Commanding Curve will win the Belmont Stakes if we get a little bit of pace. We'll um, win. You heard we'll it here win. first. We'll win. We'll win the Belmont Stakes. I love California Chrome. I respect him, but we're waiting in the weeds. All right. Well, we'll see what happens here today first in the Preakness. Jeff, listen. Thanks for joining us.